Oscar, we got work to do. Are you ready? Let's go. Well, hey there. Welcome back. We're actually uh, headed down to Loggerhead Marina. We're just getting out of the clear water here. It's about an hour drive down. We've got a couple boats to look at the marina, so I'll see you down there. Oscar, we made it. Well, hopefully our boats are on a service wreck here. We got two. We have a 251 Grady White, a brand new one, and a brand new Regal 33 OBX. So, let's go find them. We'll talk about perfect timing here. They're putting a, one of them down right there. And their other one is right there, the twin 300s. Let's start with that Regal there. So this one is a 33, and it is definitely blue. Look at this. I've never seen this before, it's pretty cool. They must have built these brackets just for uh, just for this boat. It goes underneath this metal plate that holds up the swim platform. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's got twin 10-foot blades on it. Bet you it works pretty well. Before we jump on, though, we have two problems. Aft bilge pump we're going to check so it doesn't work. And our bow thruster doesn't work. So let's go check it actually at the bow thruster itself since we're on a stand make sure there's nothing damaged yeah, it feels like everything's connected it feels like it's connected to the motor the gear case is all right no damage to our blades all right let's jump on the boat here sorry if we get any background noise here we got someone working next to us and the forklift runs out here all the time so you might hear some different things in the background. So, let's see what we got here. There's our thruster control. All the new EX stuff from Yamaha. Let's find our batteries. I'm sure they're under the seats like always. Here we go. On, on. Let's look and make sure we have where our bilge, aft bilge, oh look, I just fixed that problem. The breaker tripped, but we'll make sure that's not going to keep tripping it. That happens sometimes. So I don't see any cutoffs or anything for our bow thruster up here. Let's go see if our light works on the dash and see if we have enough power first. Alright, let's see. Got nothing. Alright, let's open the back hatch up and let's look at our batteries. We'll start from the source. Yeah, there's that forklift in the background. All right, let's get down in our hole here. Oh, almost fell in the hole. So let's see. We got batteries on both sides here. Battery, battery. I want to make sure where our bow thruster is connected. So I can see over here on the port side, there's our battery switch right there. And there's a fuse for it right there, so I'm going to get my meter and look to check power there. But we're already in the bilge area here, so let's check this bilge pump real quick. And this guy down here, it's a fully automatic one. Should be a button or something here. Oh, she's hot. Something's wrong. That's probably why the breaker's blowing. Let's see if it'll pump water if we stick it in there. There's something wrong for sure. The wires aren't hot. I got a new one of these, luckily, so we can put a new one in. She's locked up. Oh well. So let's do that. Get my meter. We'll go get a new pump for this. We'll get some tools. We'll get all this changed out. All right, we got our pump here. We got some tools we might need. Oh, and the Deutsch connector is already on here, so it saves us some time. Now, let's take a look. I got our meter out turned on. Let's check and see. Reach underneath here. If we've lost power to our main fuse over here. So the top one comes from the battery switch. And it should come down here to this one right here. So let's touch that. And we got nothing. All right, let's touch the top one to make sure we got power coming from our battery switch from these batteries here. Yep, 12 and a half volts, that's good. 
that means that our fuse back there, the A and L fuse, is blown. I can't get my head inside there because it's basically pinned underneath this uh, wall and ceiling here with all the hoses. So let me unstrap that. We'll slap a new fuse in there. We'll see if it works. All right, we got our cover back on here, and we are set back up. It definitely uh, blew the fuse here. She is blown, so hopefully it'll work and there's not something wrong. I don't know why that would blow, maybe low voltage or spike in voltage. Kind of weird though, you usually don't see that. So the motor could have a problem, but hopefully it'll just work. Before we leave the bilge, let's replace this pump. So we got a new one, it should be a quick swap out. And just unplug our harness here. Probably already blew the breaker again, being this thing was hot. And these are cool because all the rule stuff is quick disconnect. I don't have to even try to attempt to take off and unseal that and everything else. We can just spin this off. And there we go. And just spin the new one right back onto this. Just O-ringed. There we go. Come out of there. Our new one is in place here. We got her down in position there, clamped into her home. Well, let's plug it in and see what it does. Oh, nothing. I forgot. I gotta go flip the breaker real quick. Let's try that again. I'll leave you here. Let's see if it turns on when I flip the breaker. Well, nothing happened because the water level is not high enough. So let's push the button instead. There she goes. She's working. All right, so our bilge pump we know is good. I got our wiring tied up here. Keep it out of the water. Now, let's go see if we get our bow thruster to work since we know we got power now. All right, let's push our button. Let's see if we can see it light up in the sun here. She's on. Yeah, I can see it. On. Let's see if we can hear it. That's a good noise. All right, well, hopefully it doesn't blow in the water because that's very possible there's something wrong, but it sounds normal on the on the uh, stand here. So we're done with this one. Let me pack it up. We'll get our ladder over to our Grady over here. All right, I got our ladder over here. We got our tools. The first thing on our list here, there's only a couple more besides this, is our transducer. I guess it's too low. Tighten up a little bit too. It's causing uh, some crazy spray. It looks like it's a little low. That plate is supposed to block the spray, but it looks like it's probably coming up and over it. So we can crack these a little bit and we'll raise it up. Hopefully that'll fix this problem there. Shouldn't need much to move this as long as it's not completely glued into place. gonna move it all the way up I think. Well since I have to move this and I broke the seal on these I'm gonna put some silicone on here too. Let me grab some. Alright we got our good sealer here. We got her raised up. She's resealed. I even put some in the gaps here. Protect it. And I tighten her up. So she's ready. Hopefully it'll uh, not spray for the customer as much anymore or we're gonna have to redrill that. All right, so the other two complaints here before we turn our batteries on are his stereo stays on with the batteries off. He can only control it through his Garmin for some reason. And his trim tabs are not working. So we'll check this second. Let's see what's up with the stereo first. The batteries are off. Let's see if it'll light up. No. Nope. Well, let's turn the batteries on. There we go. We're lit up there. Right, that's on. Let it all boot up. So this is on. Let's see. Select. It looks like I can push all the buttons here. It's FM. That's working. Let's see. Media. Yep. It's all showing the same thing. Well, I can control it here, so let me uh, turn the batteries off and see if this turns off. 
Well, it's shut off. I don't know, that's a weird one. Of course, it ain't gonna do what he says it does for, for me, because it knows I'm here. And we'll turn it back on, see if it does anything weird while we look at our trim tabs. It turned back on for us. It's back on where it was, so I remembered. Our trim tabs are not on right now. Let's turn our key on. So we have lights. And we have movement. Weird. So everything seems to be working fine. The stereo doesn't stay on like he says and it's functioning from the uh, actual stereo itself. He says he couldn't get the stereo to work. He could only get it to work on the Garmin and it wouldn't shut off. So I don't know if I had some glitch but it's not working now. The uh, trim tabs, they should be indicating on the tab or the pad here and uh, the only thing we can do is, is push them all the way down and we'll actually physically look and make sure and then we can check the auto retract on the key switch too real quick. So let's push these all the way down first and then we know for sure that everything is doing its job. And then we'll turn the batteries on and off one more time to see if anything else messes up because our stereo is still on. Alright, so our port side tab is pushed all the way down here. Look at our starboard. And our starboard tabs all the way down too, so they're working. Well, let's turn our key switch off here. We can watch them retract. Yeah, that's working too. So I'm not sure what happened. Let's go turn the batteries off. Make sure our stereo doesn't stay on. Stereo turned off. Garmin turned off. Got nothing on the dash here. Nothing's working. So I don't know. It's weird. Maybe he had the switch in the one or two position. You never know. Before we leave here, I gotta pack it up and we're gonna go walk and look at the big boats on the other side before we call it a day. Alright, so we're not gonna be able to really do anything on this side because it's gated off. I don't know what the code is. We can see some of these boats over here and we'll look at the marina on the other side and see what's in the water. So let's start on this side. That's a big uh, cruiser yacht right here. Pretty nice boat. Cool, cool design for sure. It's definitely red too. It's covered up. Here's one of our uh, Regals. I don't know if I've worked on that boat yet. It looks brand new. And a Sundancer. 470. Looks like a nice boat. Silverton, it's a nice boat. We're gonna skim past the rental boats here. Yeah, we're past all those little guys there. Walk along our seawall here, come to the other side where they park everything. I'm not sure what dealer this is either. Look at Chris Craft too, I think. Scout. Some other boat lines, I'm not sure. Pretty cool design though. Both of these, they both look like they're brand new. That's pretty cool. I like the uh, walkway there. Got a fly bridge. Nice. It looks like they're having the same problem as us. No motors. I'm gonna come around the corner here. We should be able to see. Yeah. Oh, look, one of ours. Brady White. I'm gonna sneak by the bushes and jump on the dock here. Ooh, we got us a yellowfin. That's a cool flats boat. Looks like maybe a regulator next to it. Nice boat. A Ranger Bay boat. I'm not sure what that is. It looks like an old Aqua Sport style hull. It's got a bracket on it now. Looks like it's all bay boats today. There's a young. It's a cool color. Looks like she's getting some work done. Got all the cowlings off the Verados there. Three superchargers. And the last one floating is a Sundancer. We got another Sundancer behind the. Uh, I don't even know what that is right there. Well, thank you everybody for joining me today. I had to, uh, sorry, we're ending an Oscar here because the phone overheated. I was trying to film at the docks there and say goodbye, but I'd bring it back in here and cool it off in the AC. Anyway, as always, I appreciate everybody watching, and I will see you next time. Later. I just pulled the cowling off here, and we got somebody that didn't make it. Must have got caught in here. Poor guy.